Once again, I'd like to welcome every one of us here. If you do not have a program, please wave. If you have extra programs. Okay. Um, if we can... Please wave one more time. If you don't have a program, we would all agree when we're going to light our candles so that um, we're united in that. Please wave one more time. If, if you don't have a program, okay. Program, program. We're going to start with um, themes. And um, it will be great to like um, acknowledge why we're here. We're going to be doing that in a moment, um, but um, let's just start with, with, with a very apt hymn, Amazing Grace. We're, we're multitasking at the moment. <laughs> we can do
We're here because we know that men and women and children have died and are dying in Nigeria, our motherland. We're here because we're primarily predominantly Nigeria is resident in this country. For us, Nigeria is our Jerusalem. And though we are here, and the Lord has kept us here, our hearts are still there. And as Christians, we cannot hear of people dying, women being killed, and not raise our voices. We're here to raise one voice on the platform of Christianity to say that we condemn what is happening in our country, in Nigeria today, as of now. And to say that our hearts need to be those of the widows and orphans that have been, you know, created every day by the circumstances situation in Nigeria. We're here because we're hurting with them. And we're here because we want the world to know that we are not satisfied with what is happening in our country today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But we're here in a different way as well. We're here in a state of sobriety. We're here to also acknowledge that the lives that have been lost in Nigeria saddens the Lord and saddens the maker, the creator of that land. As a result, we're putting different slants to our protest today. We have decided that in addition to raising these banners, which speak our hearts, and speak the hearts of the women and children and orphans that have been made in Nigeria, we also want to acknowledge those that have died on both sides, both Christians and Muslims, because as far as we're concerned, they are all children of God. Praise the Lord. The Lord created them. It hurts the Father, the Maker, to lose any of His children. But we want to acknowledge that souls, people have died. And as a result, we decided we'll have a candlelight vigil today. Whilst we're raising these banners, we're also raising our voices to the Lord in praise. And then also remembering those who have passed away. Praise the Lord. We demand that this killing should stop. Yeah. We demand that the situation in Nigeria should change yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We demand that there should be peace for spread in our country. And that we are not unmindful of the fact, as Christians, we are quite clear in our mind, that we wrestle not just against flesh. We raise our voices against flesh. But the Bible tells us that we wrestle against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. So we are doing spiritual battle. You know, as a church, we're standing in one accord and raising our voices and we are praying. But we do feel that we need to do a bit more than pray. We need to be visible and raise our voices as well to say that we condemn the loss of God. Praise the Lord. And I just bless the Lord for this opportunity that we have the freedom and the relative freedom in this country to exercise our faith. Well, our brothers and sisters in our motherland have been told that they cannot do that. It just cannot be right. And the Bible says, bear you one each and one another's body. And that's part of the reason why we're here today. Praise the Lord. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming out and raising your voices at this time. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.